Welcome everyone to this special edition of Love Wrestling Figures. If you don't know by now, my name is Alex. I am your host as always every week on Saturday 10 a.m. But today I'm being joined by my very good friend, a friend of Love Wrestling and a friend of mine who I met through Love Wrestling, the Wordsmith. Hello, Wordsmith. How are you doing? Salutations. I'm good. Uh, you could also say that you are my attorney and my medical practitioner, but uh, those are legal terms that we will uh, save for another time. Yeah, I mean, uh, there. yeah, like, uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say those things up too. Uh, so uh, just to give kind of an introduction to what this is, is uh, this is going to be the series finale for the year with the holidays coming up and with some personal things going on. I need to have a little bit more time and just trying to do the videos uh, right now is a little bit taxing on me. I'm, I'm having a little bit of sleepless nights. I'm having stress fits. So I decided that this was going to be a special episode. This was actually going to be something that I and the wordsmith partook in where we sat down uh, once a month and talked about just figures, you know, love wrestling figures. So, you know, that was going to be the idea, but we got we got to bump that up a little bit and uh, you know have a little introduction to that now, but it'll come back later on in the future when you, maybe you're watching this in the future. It might be good. It might not be. Hopefully, and if it's you're watching good. this in the future, tweet me in the past and tell me who won the next World Series. Yeah, Daddy needs some money. Oh yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, uh, let's start off with uh, you know why we're all here. I mean, we all love wrestling figures. I mean. I, for myself, love wrestling figures, and I know that I'm in a very specific niche with these videos because you got the, the two circles that's wrestling and then the circle that's figures, and then in between is where I, you know, my show lies. So, uh, you know, why don't we go, why don't we start there? Uh, Wordsmith, what do you, what do you, uh, you know, what's your history with uh, wrestling figures and, well, I mean, figures in general, I guess. Oh, figures in general. I mean, uh, anything... I'm I'm a very simplistic creature. I uh, I go on hunts and I find things that I like and I consume them. And by consume, I mean purchase them. Don't get that confused. Don't you clip that. That that would that would be weird. You eat them. Um, <laughs> so uh, mostly, I've been collecting wrestling figures on and off for a few years. Be it birthday presents, Christmas presents, whatever stuff that I like, superstars that I like. Mostly the Undertaker. I have quite a few that i can't seem to locate lately and it's a bit uh frustrating at castle wordsmith i'll be honest that i can't find them but yeah undertaker kane stuff like that more recently collecting AEW figures and uh i didn't tell you this but uh because i i, I have the mind of a goldfish sometimes <laughs> and um recently i have decided this is a Love Wrestling Figures exclusive. Oh, oh. I'm going to start collecting only people that I have personally met. Awesome. Only superstars. That, yeah. That's my next little collection idea, and I think it's doable. I haven't met that many, but uh, I've got a list, and some people are on it. Also, I mean, you know, I have, a, I have a list of people that I've met through you know, my time on the uh, Indiana Independent Circuit, but uh, unfortunately that list is... Very small as to who has figures because, you know, either they... Is there at least one? I mean, there is at least one person that had a figure. I'm not too sure. But uh, I'm, I'm sure there's got to be a couple people that I've met or I've at least participated in the ring with that I've, I can get a figure of. But, right. you know, say on the same kind of page, that's kind of my, uh, my deal, you know, is I collect a specific, like, you know, a lot of the videos I have are because of... I like the the attire or I like the moment in time that happened with this, you know, uh, particular figure. Like the Vader figure a couple of videos back, you know. I like love I, that. I love that I think, figure so I much. think this is like, you know, episode six of six. So, but uh, I think it was like episode two or three. You know, that Vader to me was what I grew up watching on, you know, mid-90s WWF. And I was like, look, when I go to get a Vader figure, I'm going to get that figure. Uh, and uh, there's going to be times where, like, I get figures that I'm not necessarily too keen on, but you know, you'll eventually see at least a representation of, um, you know, a figure behind me in some some facet. Like, they recently did a um, Mattel Legends uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, where he's doing the promo 
after WrestleMania three, where he's got the little creamer in his hand. He's, you know, I'm cream the crap. <laughs> they actually released the figure with that little creamer. You know, that it's like a, a, a separate hand, you know, accessory that you can put on them. And I'm like, that's amazing that you can actually little, recreate that little divergence off of uh, the beaten path that we're on. And this might happen folks. And I do apologize in advance. <laughs> I had the pleasure of meeting Mr. Gene Oakland before he, before his passing. And uh, I asked him, I was like, got to ask you about the cream of the crop promo. And he knew exactly what I was talking about. Mm. I said, where, 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 where did he get those creamers? He goes, Randy was, um, let's just say he he probably stole them from catering and didn't tell anybody. <laughs> and it just showed up because nobody knew. Right. But, but I mean, like, I mean, in that instance, it worked. Like, it, it, know, I loved it. I, it produced I one, of the, one of the best promos of all time from the Macho Man. And well, you can't. Is a it one though? of one, one of. of yeah it might show up on a show of mine poetry of a promo right here at love wrestling.ca go and listen to them they're amazing i'm on them mr j's on them he's a person individual yep <laughs> consonant but yeah um so you know that's why i collect what i collect i mean and i've got a bunch of other stuff too that just have a nostalgia uh basis to it like the old hasbro series or there is the kind of like the retro style of the LJN classic superstars uh, and unmatched AEW figures. So, you know, I mean, your collection is your collection. You can you you are the, ultimately the one holding the card that pays for the product. If you love it, you love it. You hate it, you hate it. Go on, buy what you love, and just leave the rest of it on the shelf. You know, I have an entire closet full of Riho figures because nobody buys them. I, I kind of, I actually need one. So if you want to, what? Yeah. I, Dude, I, every toy store I go to, <clears throat> sorry, I don't know what happened to my voice. Uh, no, you... Every toy, every toy store that I travel to in my journeys through life, uh, there, there is always a Riho. For me right now, it's, uh, it's a uh, SCU or Jake Hager. So that figures you know, popped up quite a bit lately. Actually. Yeah, I think uh, I think that that disease that the figures get with the cloth attire is uh, is affecting him. And uh, I, you know, I don't know if you know about that or not. No. Yeah, it's uh, a disease. Well, can it's it? like can I catch it? no, I you can't this. catch it. No, don't worry. Do I need to so, be vaccinated against uh, it? No, or not not bad. again. You get your booster <laughs> shots, but you'll be fine. Uh, no, this uh, this all stemmed from like when they did the classic Jacks did the classic superstar line. A lot of the figures that had cloth on them, like um, there was a, a Rick Martel and I believe Shake the Snake, where they had the bags over their heads. You would take the bag off, That's and they yeah? yeah, yeah. They you would take the bag off, and their their skin would be darkened because of uh, the dye or something in the cloth. So <laughs> that's amazing. Yeah. So I, you know, um, I think if in my studies. I think Jazzwares is like a subsidiary or like a purchased of, you know, they purchased Jacks or something along those lines. I, you know, I'm the guy who does the videos with all the history and, you know, I don't even, but yeah, uh, I think, you know, they do the same, it's the same process. So it could be that, or it could just be like somebody like that Jake Hager figure. I, know how, I don't I hope... like it. I mean, it I'm looks gonna... like a figure with a bag over it. I'm going to I'm going to get it eventually cuz I need it for my AEW uh yeah, my AEW shelf but you know uh so I mean one of the things that we're going to be trying out on this episode of display case and in future shows once we get back to it is uh, we're going to be talking about halls and you know eventually we're going to have uh some um toy hunt videos in the future once uh Things get right monetarily, and you know we can get out more. I, right now, this is still very pandemic era, so I don't know if you know. For myself, I can get out. Uh, unfortunately, my vehicle won't let me get there. I don't know how it is for you right now, Wordsmith. I, I've been known to get a couple of hunts in, but not too, uh, not too far from. Let's just say I have to stay in my uh, in my zone. Gotcha. Yeah, and I know that the. Right now, I know right now in Australia they're still having a little bit of trouble with uh, opening up and 
getting back to uh, a sense of normality. But, uh, you know, we're going to have hunts in the future. So I figure right now we would talk about uh, some of the hauls that we've had lately. So Ooh. at this point, I you know, for me, I haven't really been hauling too much. Um, I'll You know, a little transparency. A lot of the figures you've seen so far on the show have been brought to you by my cousin, Brandon. Uh, he hooked me up with an amazing deal, and there is a lot of stuff that I have shown. There's some stuff that I haven't shown yet, uh, so I've been fortunate in that. But you know, I haven't been able to get out much or out further than the uh, you know the end of my city to get to toy hunts. But uh, for you, Wordsmith, I know you went uh, went on a little travel lately. What the? What did you happen to find? Well. Actually, I have it right behind my camera here. Uh oh. We'll start off with a little bit of this. I don't know if we can see it. I, I, I can see it a little bit. Uh, for those who don't know, what is this? This is a, uh, what the hell is this called? It's uh, Lucha de la Muerte. Ooh. It's from Legends of, oh, wait, there it is. There it is. There you go. Legends of Lucha Libre. Uh, I found this, and there is more. But I'll show you that in a minute because anticipation and building and stuff that, you know, there you it's, go. it's tension. It's dramatic tension. Yeah. I found this in a lovely little shop, actually. And I had a lovely talk about the graps and the wrestling world with um, the, the proprietor of the establishment called Silver Snail in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Yes, definitely give him a plug. Yep. I Sick store. Absolutely. Made me feel very, very poor. Uh, I had my eyes on an Optimus, uh, an Optimus Prime vehicle that I grew up with, and for five hundred dollars, I decided to let it stay. Um, however, I did pick up the weapons kit, the uh, Lucha de la Muerte that I just showed you, along with this. Now, I usually don't do research because, well, I know everything already, and I don't need to. However. To reach off camera, this is not uncomfortable at all. Then I found this. Put it on camera. Oh, look at this lovely, horrifying creature. Penta Zero M. Is that from the same? Yeah. Oh, it's the same line. Let me see if I can. Do you see that second head? Uh, is that the one with the uh, okay, the... up there in the corner with the tongue out? Yep, you got the back of the box. Nice little photo, a couple photos there, yeah, couple yeah. Photos, oh. side profile. Never opening this box. <laughs> and... What's the uh, what's the producer of this uh, of this fine line? I do not know. Uh, actually. And at the moment, with my fantastic goggles and eyewear on, I could not tell you. So, what we'll do is we will add it right now underneath. There. There you I go. Know, hey, you know what's going on? Oh, wow. Editor in the future, i.e. me, just don't forget to do that. Um, so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all this knowledge down here. Yeah. I mean, you know, professional. Uh, Professionalism. Yeah. Is there anything else that you picked up? While oh, yeah, you were dude. I, I was terribly behaved in Toronto. Uh, I managed to pick up a cane figure that is somewhere lost in the ether back there, as well as Phoenix, because I have uh, both the Lucha Brothers. Uh, I guess the standard version for the AEW run that they're that they put out, not the chase, but the like uh, the regular one. Well, there was only uh, two versions, and it wasn't uh, necessarily chase. It was like one series and then oh, another series. Yeah, I did not know that. So, did you get um, the black and white, or did you get the black and gold? Black and gold for both. Nice and uh, lovely figures. And I think that's all the wrestling stuff I got while I was on that trip. Because uh, then I'm a little bit of a Star Wars nerd myself, and uh, I found a Darth Maul versus Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, I know. That probably just drove views away in Lego. <laughs> and I thought it was fantastic. However, I do have one regret, because all hunts come with regrets, I suppose. I did not buy an Andre the Giant WrestleMania 3. That was the one with the little rings, right? Yeah. I found well it. And I decided not to buy it because I don't know why. Because I was hoping for better figures, but 
Also, I don't want to give that particular company any more of my money. Yeah, I think the best thing to say about that Andre is like it's cool that it came with the little ring. I love that's the feature uh, that I love yeah. most about it. And they have they have a Macho Man in the same style, mm. but they're both basic figures. And you know, for the price tag, I believe of thirty dollars, that's mm-hmm. a bit, you know. Bit $30 steep. for pretty much like a $10 figure and a $20 uh, little ring cart. That's a little steep. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I wish I did uh, buy that, but uh, alas, I did not. I also right. found some Ninja Turtles toys, but uh, those are for uh, for personal use only and not related to this show. They're miniatures and they're adorable. So I mean, maybe in the future <laughs> we'll have a little something, something, but Right now, we're just focusing on on wrestling. Could do a crossover Wait. episode of Ninja Turtles versus the Lucha Brothers. I would. Hey, do there it. we go. Hey, <laughs> hey, we can we can make it work if they can have uh, wrestling. You know, turtle. We can have turtles and wrestling you know, attires, and you know, uh, Ghostbusters, uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Then this we can true. make it work. This is true. So yeah, from here, like, uh, like let's talk about the history of uh, you know where we came from for our love of wrestling figures. I mean. I mean, we kind of talked prior to recording this. Do you? I mean, what? Uh, what? What was little Wordsmith or young Wordsmith? Uh, I mean, really, did you have wrestling figures? I, you... I did. I did. What is um, the... From what I remember, I believe I had. It was. It was the 1990s. If you could travel back with me in my non-functioning time machine that we can't all fit in. Um, it was the 1990s, and uh, I remember sitting at a Chinese food restaurant playing with what I believe I could not tell you the name of the brand, but I was definitely playing with a mounty figure that you could only move the waist, and like his arms were like stuck, and you could just move him like that. I believe that would be a Hasbro. Uh, yes, I, I believe go. from what I've researched. And the price uh, hurts my feelings because I wish I would have kept them. Mm-hmm. But uh, even as Lucy's, to quote Heath Slater, who's Lucy? Who's but still, Lucy? Yeah. Um, we're big I, marks. We're big marks here. I, I love me some <laughs> Heath. Heath, baby. Sorry. Um, moving right along. Uh, yeah. So I had that. I believe there was a Virgil. I think I mm-hmm. had Virgil. I would have to. I would have to research that because I remember having. And I don't want to use the wrong term. I remember having an African-American gentleman in white pants and red knee pads. If I that would be about. Virgil. That is Virgil? Yes. That is Virgil, I yes. was young and I didn't know who the hell that was. <laughs> but now I do. And it, it's it's, even better. You know, here we are years later and nobody still knows what, who Virgil is. I know who Virgil is. He's that guy that never has lines at his comic con. Never. No, sorry. I'll take well, that I'm, Ooh, He's a lonely guy. He's a lonely guy. <laughs> but I love you, Virgil. Much love. I don't yes. know if you get my ten bucks, but you know, well, we we still appreciate you. We for what you it's did in the mail. <laughs> yep, it's in the mail. Uh, so you had those two. Did you have anything else? Uh, when I got older, probably around late nineties, early two thousands, probably I had a couple of Stone Colds. I remember. Now this is going way down memory lane. I remember garage sales. Yes, I used oh, to go yeah. to garage sales all the time. Back in and 2019. Yes. <laughs> no, actually, actually, yes, I used to do that. And rummage sales. Rummaging mm-hmm. is fun. We should always rummage. Um, but I was rummaging through a garage sale. They're two different things. And I found an entire bin full of wrestling figures, oh, wow. along with the Titan Tron. And it still worked. Oh, wow. Yeah. And uh, I think I got, I have a few left from it. Um, I had test, but the arm was missing. One of the, not the arm with the tattoo, because the tattoo yeah. was still there. I had a crappy looking Shane McMahon. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a Vince McMahon. Who's that? I know. Yeah. Um, uh, so you're probably talking like the the Titantron era of Jax. Yeah, I, would, I I didn't want to use the wrong name, but I believe if memory serves me right, they the Jax line is the one that I have. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. It was either it was either the Titantron or R three. You know, R three came after 
uh, the Titantron series. But yeah, you probably have uh, a few of those in there. Yeah. If you had the Titantron, uh, you know, playset, then you you definitely have the Titantron figures. Like they had the little prongs on the bottom of their feet. You could put yes. them on. Yes, yep. I still them. have a few of those, and I've they always would, wondered some, how did some they would that? play the right music. Some would play, you know, somebody else's music. You'd, really weird in there. I had the Rock playing Vince McMahon's theme. Oh, for like weird. a week and i was so confused i'm like that is not if you smell what the rock is cooking i know what i'm talking about i'm like eight years old at this point going that's not the right music you're yep. wrong you could always use the penny hack you uh i would put a you know put a penny on those two uh strips and it would play some random music oh yeah so and folks, a little, for those of you that have that particular a little hack for set, you there you go little hack ski for you little figure photography just want the music going off and you know lights why going not? off and whatever why not <laughs> Okay, so Hasbro and uh, Jack specific Titan Do you have, have any any uh, other uh, fond memories of back in the day? It's the, the, having all the weapons, all the weapons from Jacks were amazing. Actually, uh, <laughs> and this is kind of full circle. My nephew, who is very young, like two at this point, point of recording, he's two, and uh, we. <laughs> We gave him the APA filing cabinet. Oh. And he loves it. I don't know why, but <laughs> it's possibly the funniest thing. It's like, oh, he doesn't know that that's for hitting other figures with, but he loves it. The, the, and the button still works. The top drawer comes out. It's it's the funniest thing to see this kid playing with. It. Nice. So, toys intergenerational. That's what we do here at Word Smith headquarters or Castle go. Word Smith or whatever Castle I'm Smith. calling it this week. Whatever, yeah, whatever it is. Uh, yeah, for me, like, uh, you know, I had a little bit of everything. Like, I had the LJNs, I had the Hasbros, the, I had a bunch of the Jack specific ones, the Bone Crunchers, and the Titan Trons. I've had just about every iteration of um, wrestling figure that's been out there. You know, maybe did not. You, did you ever get uh, WCW figures? The Galoob and the. Uh, I, Toy, toy biz marvel toy line i think it was i had the bill yeah. goldberg yeah where he had like the <sighs> lots of articulation on that figure from what i remember yeah it was it was like there yeah. so at the time like when those figures came out you know the after the the shakers or the the ones that like you press the button on the side they like vibrate yeah. you know those were uh, weird. the vibrators yeah those were weird <laughs> um they had seeing very... those in a toy store and my, my my parents were like would you like those wordsmith and i was like Good Lord, no. Because <laughs> I yeah. knew how to say that when I was a child. Yep. I was very well educated. Yeah, those WCW ones came out, you know, the better looking ones came out at the same time, like around the Series 6 of the uh, BCA line for WWF at the time. So, yeah, those were, I had a bunch of those. Like I had the Goldberg and the Kevin Nash and the, uh, Kevin giant with the that, stupid frills on the side yeah didn't make any sense yeah and then the giant with like the little ray mysterio figure that wasn't ray mysterio it was like masked wrestler yep <laughs> i have actually if you can give me a moment do you mean this figure i do yes with the weird uh weird Red action claw. i have the claw blah, blah, blah. <laughs> this is the weirdest hand i've ever seen it's it's uh like you could put a whole head in that hand Sorry. I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Be sober when you're watching the show. Otherwise, <laughs> we're not. We're not sober when we're recording this. Well, I mean, what? What? I'm, well, I'm, you know, lack of sleep. So I'm, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> it's all fun, though. Uh, so, yeah. Um, just a little bit about of, of everything uh, as far as like wrestling figures. There's some stuff that I, I really don't get into. Like they've had those Masters of the Universe ones recently. I, I really like the Stephanie McMahon one, but I really just want a good Evelyn or Evelyn. Sorry, yeah. I said it the wrong I mean, way. I mean, because <laughs> that's the way it's written. Stephanie, Stephanie, kind of thing. Stevelyn. Stevelyn, yeah. I mean, I like the Kane one. The Kane looked really good. I haven't good. seen the Kane one yet. I, I saw it once in stores, and I, you know, I did, I'm like, I didn't really grow up on He Man, so I passed on it, but the, oh, I did. I grew up on all those crappy 1980s shows that yeah. beat the crap out of everything we have now. Yeah. He, but, man. Uh, that and Thundercats. Thundercats. Oh, I love Thundercats. But yeah, I, I passed on it. I just, it wasn't my, really my thing. And, you know, at the same time, like I was, um, 
I was heartbroken that the retros weren't weren't being weren't uh, being produced anymore. I don't know if you know about those. Mm, I I vaguely know what's going so, on with those. So take your take your like Virgil and your Mountie. Yeah. That had oh, they made style. those modern. Yes, yes. They I know made the about. modern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I love those things. I have a like I have a bin full of you know like I think ninety six in total between the Hasbro and the retro line. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, I, I was a fiend right when uh, they had a resurfacing a couple years back. So I was like, I got to get as many of them as I can. And I'm also a bit of a, a, a toy restoration guy. So, you know, I found some beat up ones and, and, and brought them back to life for my own personal collection. You know, never going to sell them unless I, you know, really absolutely have to, but that's neither here nor there. So, Going, kind of going in that line of uh, the retro style, um, or you know, like the vintage, uh, definitely. What are your thoughts on the old and what people consider the first WWF action figure line with the wrestling superstars from LJN? I would have. I'm gonna have to look that up. Hold They're on. the big rubber dudes that just oh, had a st- bleh, like, gross had a no. stance. Yeah. No. It's- no. That's that's not a toy. That's, I mean, when did those come out? What what year did those come out in? Uh, they hit store shelves in '84. So but you got to think there like was better. There was better. I was going to say yeah, ooh, go, there ooh, for a moment. <clears throat> there was I'm, I'm ready on the button. <laughs> yep. When, whenever Wordsmith is around, watch out. <laughs> you never know. Um, but <sighs> there was. I feel like there was better toys coming out from other companies at that time. I feel like if it's a wrestling toy, a wrestling figurine, yeah. if you will, it should do what a wrestler does. And a wrestler moves. So I'm going to have to pass. But for what they were at the time, I, th- I think they're cool to look at. The playability doesn't doesn't work for me. Yeah. I mean, I think around the same time, they also had the AWA Remco's, which were a very much uh, He-Man style where they've got the, you know, the the f- five points of articulation, the legs, the arms, and the head. Yeah. And I think the waist as well. Um, that line was out. And, you know, you had those, the, the Remco's and then the LJNs. And I believe the Gloobs were starting to trickle in around that point. But yeah, for like WWF uh, fans, like, that was the only way you could get the Hulk Hogan's and the Macho Man's and you know uh, the the heart you know the the heart foundation and the two packs like that was a weird time to have to be a wrestling figure fan just having these big balls of pla- uh, rubber you know and trying to trying to play with them it was weird you know it's like, look like, I'm playing look they're yeah playing like take together. your take your favorite you know super articulated like figure from today and inject him with a you know rubber and that's how you know like a kind of like you know x-men uh two uh or they had the uh the animantium injected into uh yeah. lady death strike you know kind of like that it, it'd be kind of like you know it'd be weird like take a NECA figure you know like a, a jason uh from friday the 13th and make him a big rubber door stopper be weird <laughs> and that is why i'm not a fan yeah well i i am a fan of the figure line like i said i grew up with those and uh i more took on the jack's classic superstars which was kind of an homage you know uh jeremy Pradower, who was a, par- a big part of that what that was the the retro figures that they had with the classic superstars were a big um jeremy padau I'm, i've totally lost my tra- train of thought there i'm so sorry <laughs> alex cut yeah. this part out because no, no we're gonna keep this in yeah i mean it does suck but we're gonna keep it in because it's <laughs> hey we're, we're we're just riffing here it's all right so no yeah, yeah. um jeremy padau who was a part of the jacks line and who was like the head figure for the classic superstars line he in later series i believe it was like series 13 put in um a couple of superstars that were 
you know, modern day, but in that LJN style. And I really appreciated that because I like, I like retro vintage things. You know, I'd like to see oh, absolutely. new era stuff being made in the old way. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's a, that's where I'm a sucker for. And, you know, they're doing that now. Jeremy Padauer is also a part of the, uh, the AEW figures in the unmatched and unrivaled series. So um, in the first unmatched series, they had the LJ and Cody, which hmm. I, as soon as I saw that, I was like, look, I got to get it. And <laughs> not that there's a segue hidden no. <laughs> in here somewhere. Not, a, not at all. Not, not at, at all. all. But, but you know, for Love Wrestling Figures, it is, you know, a uh, tradition around here that we do an unboxing. And do you, I, do, 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 let me ask you a personal yeah. question here. Yeah. And I'm sorry if this goes too deep, but I'm going to lean in close. Can you hear me? I can, I can hear you. Do you have, do you, Alex? Yes. Do you own the Cody figurine? I'm late and nonchalantly reach over here because, yes, I do. Right here. Corey's here. Yeah. Everybody, Corey's because here. Corey. Who the hell's Corey? Danhausen. Oh. Oh. oh <laughs> Danhausen oh, calls him Corey. I, I know Pepsi Man and I know Pepsi Man. Nick, Nor, Nick uh, Cardona. And uh, <laughs> it's Mike Cardona, isn't it? Mike Cardona. Yeah. Mike yeah. Cardona. Big and uh, Camera Boy Gregory. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Yeah, uh, but no, uh, no, we have uh, Cody Rhodes here in the LJN style. Beautiful segue because today we're not only going to be unboxing this LJN inspired style Cody Rhodes. Let You're me, off the rails. We're off the rails. Nonchalantly, here. nonchalantly uh, get off to the side here. But I have uh, three of the classic superstars LJN inspired figures. And they are taking up a bit of space in, in storage. So I figured what a better time to, to unbox them and, and do a little bit of a live unboxing here. No holds barred style. So hey, can can I just interject with a little bit of my own? Yeah, go ahead. My own riff, brand. Riff, riff away. We're, we're, this is what we got. We got time. This will be Ladies the longest and... episode of uh, Love Wrestling Figures at yet. Ladies and gentlemen, to quote Mike Matt, King of the Death Match. Undisputed champion of toy collecting, the Michael Jordan of toy collecting, wrestling figure collecting. Yeah, Matt Cordona, woo woo woo, you know it. Let him breathe, Alex. Oh yeah, I, I let him breathe. Let's 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 get right into it. I, I'm going to ask you, uh, Mr. Smith, Mr. Word Word Smith. Uh, I've got the. Uh, Three superstar. I'm gonna save the Cody best for last. I'm gonna start off with the three superstars figures I have here, and I have one triple H, the one man of multiple H's, one uh Rocky Johnson. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, the Rock, name Dwayne Dwayne yes. Johnson. Yes, and one Shawn Michaels. Who would you like to see opened up first? Let's go from least to least to best. Let's start off with Sean. Ooh, right. Controversial opinion. Ooh. Ooh. Well, as a as a proud Canadian that you are, I expect no less. <laughs> I don't know how to take that. So <laughs> I'll be offended by it. You'll be hearing from my attorney. That's who, if right. you were paying right. attention earlier, I, I, is in fact you. Yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> I'll call myself. So yes. yeah, we're gonna start off with the uh the LJ inspired. We're gonna do this a little a little differently than I usually do. We're gonna there we go. LJ and inspired classic superstars. I'm not sure. Series 16. Now, I'm not sure how much these guys go for in box because I don't really care how much they go for in box. It's this is my collection. Price you know, is no can, option. Open yeah, the figure. Yeah, so there we go. Well, I'm gonna highlight the, the packaging a little bit. You got the so besides the blue here, they do these packages would usually come in a black style, mm -hmm. and then you though you'd have like your little bit of portrait of a what the figure is and then the name of it. But these have that blue to match the cards from the old LJN style figure. And you know, we've got the little bit of that there. <clears throat> and then you got the showcase on the back, you got the series that he was in as well as like a lot of the figures that were in that line. I had that Vince McMahon, I'm pretty sure. And then a little bit of blurb. I'm not going to, if you want to pause the video to read the blurb, 
or a little bit there, then go ahead. But now it's time to get to the to the portion we're all here for. Let's let 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 this bad boy open. What you uh what you uh got going on? Uh, you know. Oh, well, what's going on in the world of the word Smith? Um, still looking for toys. Still looking for a hero. But on Monday, I will be covering Tracy Smothers, and we'll be learning how to spell thug with Tracy, and it will be far from educational and grammatically correct, but it will be an episode of Poetry of a Promo. Awesome. Have you yeah. opened it yet, or do I have to keep I, ramping? I, no, I've, I've, I've opened it, and uh, first out of the box, I'm noticing it's very sticky, it, which is extremely... <laughs> like, I, I, hey. He's a sexy boy. <laughs> he is a sexy boy, that. yeah. There's there he is in all his glory. Uh, I have no idea why he's sticky. So a little fig bath may be in order. I don't, I would say this is definitely like a depiction of the '96 era. Uh, I hate that hat. There I said it. There. So nobody else has to. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's it's sticky and that's so weird. I wonder if that's just because of. I have no idea. That's. You would think it'd just be like out of the box fresh. And I know my my cousin who I got this from is, you know, kept them on the wall, but that's oh, that's a little off putting. I don't know if I want to open the other ones now. <laughs> There's some uh, questionable behavior going yeah, on. Yeah, I mean, uh... that's weird. All right, so we got two more. Who do you uh, who do you want to see? You want to see it's Triple H the well, game? Let's, uh, get or... in the ring uh, with Triple H. Uh... All right. Go to the go to the Triple H next. Yes, I am aware that that is a terrible Triple H impression. Yeah, it sounds well, more like I Randy mean, Savage. They don't pay us to, to snap into it. Yeah. I don't care. They don't they, they don't pay us to do uh, impersonations on Love, Love Wrestling. Is to I read tell us to talk. There you go. So there's a Triple H in box. You got the little bit of there. There yeah. does it come with I a water bottle? No, uh, I do not believe it comes with a water bottle. No, false advertising, and it's wrong. Um, <laughs> they got on the back and a little bit of blurb. I actually have. Speaking of Triple H I, and the Lemmy relationship, you can uh, you can hear my predecessor's uh, take on Motorhead and Triple H and their relationship to WWE on LoveWrestling.ca. Look under podcasts, under poetry of a promo. My goodness, that is a weird looking figure. Can the arms move? No, not a, not at all. There's no, there's nothing, nothing. No. And hmm. again. Very sticky. I'm. I'm. I don't want to touch any of my. Yeah. I don't want to touch my computer after doing this. This is so. <laughs> I feel dirty. <laughs> All right. Last but not sticky least, we've got The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, the superstar of the Mega Hollywood, the Scorpion King. There you go. You got the Haku Machente, if you will. God bless you. Uh, so we got a little bit of a back there. You know, he walks alone, apparently, according to the Godsmack song that went with that uh, horrifically underrated movie, <laughs> The Scorpion King. And if you're if you're watching with us, leave a comment. Tell us what you think about these figures, and tell us what you think about this uh, this style of this format. I mean, I know it's a little different. Uh, it's a lot longer than our usual show, my usual shows. But we're we're having fun. I mean, this is kind of a kind of a blow off for the year. From this is the season finale. Look at that elbow. That yeah. is the people's what a, what elbow. A, ooh. And luckily, he's not sticky. Thank goodness. I'm, I was so beginning it's... beginning to worry. Shoulder looks people. like it's out of place, but yeah. uh... I mean, <laughs> that's a super that's a super flex for you. It's, I've popped my shoulder out of my socket because my yep. traps are so big. Poof, and so it's... there's, so there's three of four now. One that I've been excited for for a while now. I've got two of these at, in my possession, but one of them right here is going to get opened. And I just want to take a moment. I know we talked about the boxes on these other figures. Let me readjust my desk real quick. I know I talked about the boxes on the other figures, but. This is a, is a thing of beauty. I mean, the art that's on there, they went of the extra step. 
with these guys, you know. These are if I don't know if you've ever seen the uh the LJN style um cards there were I have seen but, videos of them, yes. But these I've never are, seen one is, in person. But. Yeah, this is kind of very much uh reminiscent of that. And I love that. You know, we got the the nice blue all around the box. It's not like a half black, half blue, and we've got the yellow up there. That's its colors really pop. We've got the nice artwork right there. And there are, I believe, some uh Easter eggs among the crowd. And then we've got the back, which he has a little if for those who know LJN figures. They always had a little bit of a card that came on the back, and then also inside the poster, which we'll get to in just a There's second. There's a poster. There's well, a that's poster. worth the price of admission. Yeah. And you know, I just love this because, like I said before, I love the retro style stuff and just the extra detail they went into building this figure and building this specific line uh, is amazing to me. You know, that's there's love put into this, and that's what I really appreciate is when those who are making the figures love what they do and love doing it. So, but luckily for me, I have two of these. So wordsmith, what do you think I should, uh, what do you think I should do with this one? Uh, I mean, are we not doing unboxings? Oh, I mean, that's, I, we're, we're doing unboxings. Let it breathe. One Cody, the nightmare roads, the American, the American nightmare. Nightmare. Where's the Canadian nightmare at? We need that. Wasn't that Sean Spears at one point? Uh, I don't know. He's, he's the chairman, I think. You got the little <laughs> logo there on the on the leg. And we got the nightmare, nightmare nice, on the back nice. there. He does have his dream tattoo. And yes, he does have the most egregious uh, tattoo on his neck, which is very high. It's a, it's a, it's a choice. It's a choice. It's a choice, most it's definitely. Choice. And then, you know, I actually have the love wrestling tattoo, uh, the love wrestling logo somewhere on my body. Is it on your helmet? No. Oh, that's it's on my neck. No, no, no. That's uh, worrying. If you don't tell me where that where that is, I'm just going to assume that I'm just going to assume the worst. Enter it in the comments, folks. Let me know. <laughs> We've got the poster that comes Ooh. inside. Yeah, it's. I like again. I I just love this style. I love that they put the detail and the love into it. You can see there. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, glamour shots. I I do enjoy that uh, that poster. Yeah, and I'm gonna have to Will find you be a way using it, sir. Will you be posting it on the wall? I I don't know if I'll be posting it on the wall, or maybe I'll just find a a binder, or some way to store this mm. and keep Not it. Not a bad for, idea. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, that that ends the unboxing portion, and you know I'm very much looking forward to the future. They're going to be doing, um, I believe, Unmatched Series Three is going to have um, Darby Allen in the same exact uh, design of the LJN's Ooh. style, um, and of course there is there was 14 of the uh, classic superstars Jacks. LG and style figures. Now I've only got three, so I've got to go those down. So, uh, what's that? Wordsmith. This has been a long one. It has, and, and but it was worth it. I yeah, hopefully it's been hopefully it's been fun. Hopefully, if you're in the in the view of the YouTube and you're watching this, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, what it all boils down to is, you know, we love wrestling and we love wrestling figures, and I'm of the way of, you know, I know my videos are different. I don't just come in here with a, hey, take a look at the figure. Here's the articulation. I like to give in, give into the history of it. Why did they wear, or why is this person coming with this thing? You know, Why did the king come with a, a Money in the Bank briefcase and the World Heavyweight Championship? I am of the mind that people don't need to be educated. People want to be educated. And if I can at least educate some people that want to watch my videos, then, you know, I've done my job. I love knowledge, and I hope that you know you guys out there have loved uh, watching these videos with me. Like I said, on a little bit of a haze, but I think, I think not only 
will have Edge made a return at the Royal Rumble. But I think on January 29th of 2022, I may be making a return of my own with Love Wrestling figures. You heard it first on the night of the Royal Rumble or on the day of. Um, yeah, look out for it at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern, as always, January 29th, 2022. I shall be returning, and hopefully things will be settled and um, things will be better. I hope to be back and better with more, and you know, hopefully you guys will be right along with me. I, I appreciate if you've come this far uh, in this video or any of the other videos, but you know, this has been a little bit of labor of love, and I appreciate you guys for sticking with me for this little bit. So with that, Wordsmith, let's go to the let's go to the, what we usually do best. Let's plug ourselves. What do you? Uh, I know you said po poetry of a poem or poem of a poetry. Oh, I I really gotta learn how to. <laughs> Wordsmith, where can the can the can the good people do you find hear, you? Do you hear the shovel? I do. You're just so disappointed yes. in me right now. So incredibly disappointed. <laughs> but my incredibly competent host today is trying to say <laughs> the reason i am here if we're being really honest is to put myself over as ever i am the wordsmith you can find me right here on lovewrestling.ca at poetry of a promo poetry of a poem promo of a whatever it is this week poetry of a promo <laughs> this week we have tracy smothers coming up we're gonna learn how to spell as i mentioned earlier in the broadcast and then after that, who knows? Because the one thing about poetry of a promo that's for sure is that nothing is for sure. And you can also follow us on social media, I'm being told. Let me just read my card here. Oh, yes. At poetry of a promo on Twitter, Instagram, and I have no knowledge of other social media things. So at poetry of a promo, find me. You'll enjoy it. Awesome. And as for myself, for the next couple of weeks, you can't find me here on Love Wrestling Figures, but you can find me on Twitter at EctoGuy87. As always, let me do the the very cliche point the finger. Uh, and uh, for now, you'll that's the best place you'll find. Yeah, wrong way. Is, it's that way. <laughs> where am I pointing? I don't. I don't know. Oh, what do I do with my hands? Um, <laughs> but yeah, for now you can find me at Twitter at oh, Ecto Guy eighty seven, and also on Facebook. Uh, Alex Race is the name. Don't forget it. Uh, <laughs> that was weird. I'm not. I should not do that again. Um, but yeah, just kind of check out my Twitter. I may be popping in with some surprises here and there. But uh, for now, until January, I have been Alex. He has been Wordsmith. And we, as always, love wrestling figures. <laughs>